All right, let's get the Democratic response from Congressman Adam Schiff, the outgoing chair of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congressman Schiff, you were on this show just after Attorney General Garland appointed a special counsel in the case of the Trump documents. You said it was the right move. Do you feel the same way about this special counsel? Uh, I do think it's the right move. Uh, the Attorney General has to make sure that not only is justice evenly applied, but the appearances of justice are also uh, uh, satisfactory to the public. And here, I don't think he had any choice but to appoint a special counsel. Uh, and I think that special counsel will, will do the proper assessment. Uh, I still would like to see Congress do its own assessment of uh, and receive an assessment from the intelligence community of whether there was an exposure to others of these documents, whether it was harm to national security in the case of either set of documents with either president. Uh, but yes, I think the uh, special counsel was appropriately appointed. Uh, Jonathan, if I could uh, also, though, because my state is still trying to dig out from these terrible storms, I want to thank the president for making an emergency declaration uh, and let Californians know that uh, in the three most affected counties, they can now apply for help uh, in terms of rebuilding their homes and their businesses, uh, and that other counties need to report their damage as soon as possible so they can qualify for relief as well. Yes, thank you for that. Um, back to the, to the documents, uh, you raised the possibility of you know, this national security assessment. Is it possible that national security was jeopardized here as, as, as many, including you, uh, raised that possibility with the Mar-a-Lago documents? Uh, I don't think we can exclude the possibility without know, knowing more of the facts. Um, we have asked for an assessment uh, in the intelligence community of the Mar-a-Lago documents. Uh, I think we ought to get that same assessment of the documents uh, found in the, uh, in the uh, think tank as well as the home of President Biden. Uh, I'd like to know what these documents were. I'd like to know what the IC's assessment is whether there was any risk of exposure and what the harm would be and whether any mitigation needs to be done. Uh, I think that would be appropriate uh, and consistent with what we requested in the case of Mar-a-Lago. Um, the, the, the White House knew about this on November 2nd, so that was almost a full week before the midterm elections. We didn't learn about it. The public wasn't informed <clears throat> until this week, and it was only after uh, the story was, uh, you know, was out there, reporters were asking questions. Should they have been more forthcoming? Should this information have been revealed earlier? Uh, I think the administration will need to answer that question. Uh, I'm going to reserve judgment until they do. But I think it's important to point out uh, that the Biden uh, approach was very different in the sense that um, it looks, uh, as far as we can tell, that it was inadvertent that these documents were in these locations. When they were discovered, they were immediately provided to the archives or to the Justice Department. There was no effort to hold on to them, no effort to conceal them, no effort to obstruct uh, the Justice Department's investigation. All of that is a very sharp contrast to Donald Trump's handling of the situation. So as you point out, uh, this is a very different uh, matter. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it's appropriate for a special counsel to look into both situations. Well, re Republicans are saying they are going to investigate House Republicans. The Oversight Committee Chairman uh, uh, Comer uh, gave, sent a letter to the White House counsel making a very specific list of requests. <clears throat> he wants to know uh, what the documents were. They want internal communications between the Biden White House and the Penn uh, Center where the documents were, were first found. A list of all people who worked in that office who would have potentially handled these documents and a few other uh, requests. They seem on the face of it to be reasonable uh, request should the White House cooperate with the House Oversight Committee on this? Well, uh, those requests are completely hypocritical when you consider what he said about the Mar-a-Lago situation. Uh, I think Congress ought to handle both situations the same way, and that is we have to get a briefing from the intelligence community about any potential risk to national security of where those documents were and what they contained. Uh, but Congress shouldn't try to interfere with the investigations. I think, sadly, that's what uh, Mr. Comer's object is. He showed no interest in investigating the far more serious situation with about 100 classified documents at Mar-a-Lago with uh, evidence in the public domain of obstruction. Uh, now he is suddenly interested in investigating President Biden. Uh, I think Congress needs to be consistent here and take the same approach. Uh, I don't think we ought to be doing things that uh, are willfully intended to interfere with the Justice Department's work. So, so you don't think the White House should cooperate with the, uh, the, the, the committee on this? I mean, you, you fought mightily to get the well, Trump say, White House to cooperate. Yeah. They, 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 for the most part, did not. Uh, but you don't yeah, Jonathan, 
Yes. Jonathan, I never said the, the White House shouldn't cooperate. What I said was Congress ought to act consistently and we shouldn't try willfully to interfere with what the Justice Department is doing. That's what I think Mr. Comer is intending. But yes, I think the Biden administration ought to cooperate with any appropriate inquiry from Congress. You've endorsed uh, President Biden's re-election. He hasn't announced yet, uh, but we expect he will. Uh, does any of this uh, complicate his efforts to, to mount a re-election campaign and make a, a stark contrast with Donald Trump? Uh, I think the, there are so many stark contrasts with Donald Trump uh, on policy, on decency, on uh, a devotion to the truth. Uh, on his handling of foreign policy, on his domestic policy priorities, on his accomplishments in attacking climate change, in getting a bipartisan infrastructure bill done when Trump talked about it for four years but did nothing, uh, when Trump uh, misused uh, millions, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, in aid meant for an ally at war, Ukraine, uh, to try to extort that country into helping his campaign. In contrast, Joe Biden helping Ukraine fight against uh, a Russian invasion of, of their lands. So there are a lot Lots of sharp contrasts for Joe Biden in the next election. All right, Congressman Schiff, thank you for joining us. The roundtable is coming up, plus 